Welcome back to Yaya Tiro. So this reading will be for um, the earth sign Capricorn. So anywhere that Capricorn falls in your chart, the messages may or may not apply. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, please check the description box below. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. All right. So for the Capricorns, um, I did get a channel message. All right. So I didn't quite understand it, but the channel message is this ain't my religion. And then also ghosting and hiding. So either you're ghosting and hiding some from somebody or someone is doing this to you. Okay. Like they're trying to avoid you. They're trying to stay away from you. Um, with that being said, like this ain't my religion. Maybe like you do this all the time or like this is a routine for you. Like you, you know, get caught up with someone and then you ghost them. Okay. Or like you hide from them. Okay. Especially like when you're feeling someone. All right. You try not to spend as much time with them or something. Okay. But I feel like you're so used to, you're so used to doing it. It's like a religion to you. Okay. So you're like, this ain't my religion. This is just what I do. Okay, yeah. So let's see. Or even the way that you take care of yourself. Maybe someone could be watching you like groom yourself okay maybe getting your hair done okay getting your hair cut okay the way you dress the way you walk the way you talk okay you like this ain't my religion this is just the way i am all right i feel like too some of you um have like okay no offense to any other like culture or religion all right but i feel like you have like a way of a like you live life like a Muslim, okay, but you're not Muslim, all right? I feel like, you know, you don't eat pork, okay? You believe in having, you know, this many wives or it's something that you follow or you go by that seems as if it's like by the Bible or something, but it's not or like it's by a code, all right? Someone's like, you know, what do you worship or like what, you know, religion do you follow, okay? Now they have like a lot of questions because you have like such a routine life, okay? Let's see. Some of you could be like atheists, okay? Let's get into it for the Capricorns. What's the overall energy this upcoming week for the Capricorns? All right, five of cups. Wow. Okay, so hmm, a little disappointment here. All right. Interesting. Then I have the four of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. What is this? All right, I feel like someone lets you down. All right. Hmm. I feel like no one is. So maybe you're the one being ghosted, okay? Or someone's hiding from you, all right? Like you go looking for them. All right, I'm also getting that Michael Jackson song, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? I don't know what that has to do with anything, <laughs> all right? I feel like, okay, so someone's not going to show up, all right? That's what I will say. Or somebody stands you up or they leave you hanging, all right? Maybe this, this could be a past event or something that's coming up, all right? If it's in the past, I feel like this is why you're hiding from them now, okay? Or why you're ghosting them now because they stood you up prior, all right? Maybe you're planning on doing this to someone, all right? Okay, also I'm getting two. Maybe because someone is an atheist or they don't have a religion, maybe that is also making you like ghost them or hide away from them, okay? Because you're like, what do you believe in, all right? Like, you know, if you don't believe in anything, you can't believe in me, you can't believe in us, all right? I have the full card, yeah, like you're, you feel like, you may feel like somebody's living on the edge, okay? Yeah, somebody could be an atheist here, all right? I don't know i feel like their beliefs are very like kind of corrupt okay but i feel like you're more so looking at them corrupt all right i feel like too you may try to give this person advice or tell them you know things to like help them all right but they don't listen they don't understand all right like you're a well you know disciplined yeah well-rounded person well disciplined okay with the star card here and someone is like you know how could you live your life like that all right or you know how are you so godlike or godly all right i feel like you carry around this like great aura about yourself 
but someone else carries like a darkness around them all right they don't understand like whatever you um believe in okay they don't see how you believe in that but that's also why they're in a dark place okay they don't believe in anything okay they don't they don't believe in anything that's what i will say all right so let's get into the capricorn all right what's coming up for the capricorn what can they be expecting this upcoming week like too somebody has a bad habit of like when somebody doesn't agree with them yeah queen of wands when somebody doesn't agree with them they kind of disappear or they go away all right i'm not getting a brat type of feeling it's just like you know this is what i believe in if you can't accept it or respect it all right you have no you know you don't need to deal with me i feel like this person they don't have friends they don't have lovers okay they don't have too many like family members that they're close with okay i have the queen of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck in the hangman yeah because they're so like stuck in their ways all right i don't know i feel like this person like it's like they're forcing you to understand them okay or forcing them Forcing you to get to know them. Okay? Interesting. All right. Because you may have like started a bond with this person or like a certain relationship with this person. It's like they want you to like, I don't know, kind of chase them. Okay. Three of swords. Or like ask them like, hey, you know, what's going on? Like, why are you feeling like that? Is there anything I can do about it? Okay. And then it's like, until you ask that question, they're not going to come to you or they're not going to, they're not going to speak first or talk first. Okay. I'm also getting to you. I don't know. Like it's whatever this, I feel like somebody's just in a bad mood. Whatever this bad mood is, it's like, you don't want to feel like that. So it's like, you leave them alone. Okay. But that's actually them giving you a sign. All right. Interesting. All right. I had a Knight of Pentacles here. Mm, queen of cups what is this knight of pentacles okay page of pentacles all right someone could be promising to give you money all right or borrowing borrowing money from you okay i feel like they're not going to give it back to you in time or they're not going to give you the exact amount okay they're going to pay you like in partial payments all right or in split split payments okay and then i have a seven of wands okay so they may make a big fuss about this all right or maybe this is you telling someone you're gonna pay them back all right i feel like they're gonna make a big deal out of it all right they just want to rush you okay i don't understand six of cups i don't know this is one of those people that you should never let borrow anything or you know give money to okay because they just like rub it in your face type of thing all right yeah <sighs> i feel like too okay the emperor card maybe someone okay a charity case someone could be like pretending to be a charity case okay to get money from you all right or pretending like they don't have money all right Hmm, I have the Wheel of Fortune here, the Two of Pentacles. I have the Emperor card here, but... This is interesting. I don't know. What is this Emperor card? Alright, wow. So, the High Priestess and the Devil card in reverse... Also, okay, it may be like a fundraiser or maybe you're donating, okay? I feel like someone's going to be like unappreciative of your donation, okay? Or I feel like, I don't know if you're treating someone like a charity case or something. Someone's not appreciative of like what you gave them, okay? Or what they got, all right? Eight of Cups, yeah. And the Ace of Pentacles. 
someone could be <clears throat> asking for more okay or wanting more money needing more money so this could be a landlord as well okay they're like yeah you're gonna have to pay you know their portion or you're gonna have to pay more for next month okay Someone is like, okay, what else for the Capricorns? Okay, so this also could be like a situation where someone like moved out and left you with the bills, okay? Like they know they're dead ass wrong for that. Like someone didn't give you notice, okay? Someone could be getting evicted, okay? I don't know. What is this? Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords. All right. Someone's doing like the bare minimum to show you like to show their appreciation or like to show that they care. They're doing the bare minimum. I'll just say that or they're saying the bare minimum. They're not giving away all the information. OK, of what happened. I don't know. The Sun card, Two of Cups. I don't know. This person is like, it's like they're trying to ruin your day, okay? Or your week, okay? I don't know. I feel like somebody has like a vendetta, uh, vendetta, okay? What else for the Capricorns? There's too many cards. What else for the Capricorns? Okay, the Tower card. Yeah, someone could be definitely getting evicted or they're moving out, okay? Or they're trying to like, mess something up with you okay like a lease all right <sighs> interesting king of cups okay and the will of fortune as long as you keep it together capricorn this situation doesn't have to get bigger than what this person is making it okay someone does not know how to like have like adult conversations they rather run from them okay so i feel like too someone's gonna go and stay at their parents house they're gonna go stay at a sibling's house they're gonna go stay somewhere else until like they feel like you're not mad instead of just having the conversation with you i feel like the tone of voice that you speak to them in it's kind of like hurting their feelings all right but they don't know how to um take criticism they don't know how to take advice okay yeah six of swords they're gonna have to come back to you okay yeah nine of cups they're gonna have to come back to you because like whatever they're doing wherever they're at they can't stay there for a long time all right so this could be a lover as well okay temporary moving situation all right it's very temporary you're gonna have to go back What's this devil card in reverse? It's like the Capricorns. Okay, four of cups. Yeah, someone's definitely unappreciative. <sighs> Someone won't take no for an answer, but they also won't do what they need to do. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's to get a Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I feel like you're giving them a bunch of advice. You're encouraging them. You're saying a bunch of things, you know, like you should do this, you should do that. You're almost like a, a father or a mother to this person, okay? Like trying to give them like tips and tricks, okay? They don't take the the advice at all. Someone is like hard headed. They they have a hard head and a soft ass. Yeah, two of wands and the seven of swords. All right, but I feel like ugh, I don't know. I don't want to tell you to stop looking out for this person, but like somebody needs to get it. All right, ace of swords. They have to be honest with themselves. Yeah, the lovers card. All right. In order for you to be happy. I feel like you have to look at yourself or like your side of things, all right? I feel like you always save someone or like you play Captain save a hole too many times, all right? It's not really helping out, all right? It's actually making you look bad, okay? Because I feel like the things that go wrong, it falls under your name, all right? Someone's just not doing their part, all right? What else? Okay, 10 of Pentacles, yeah. You could definitely be moving, all right, Six of Pentacles, to maybe a more stable uh, foundation or a more stable home, okay? Or maybe you're talking to someone that's more, like, stable-minded. They can see both sides, all right? 
I feel like you're telling everything of what's going on, what's happening. Okay, maybe you even going to the landlord and letting them know like, hey, you know, this is what I can do. You know, my roommate, they kind of just left. They kind of just ghosted me. All right. Or maybe, I don't know, whoever you're talking to, you're telling, you're giving them the whole rundown of what really happened. Okay. Because it's like you can't cover for someone anymore. This may, it's going to be a little while, but I feel like it's going to help on your end. Okay. The landlord is going to like, I feel like the landlord has given you many chances. Okay. Or whoever this is, they're, they've given you many chances. All right. Or this, this has happened over and over again. All right. So it's going to take a while before they say yes. Okay. So maybe you need to write a statement or like write a new contract. Okay. Or maybe you're signing a, a new lease. Okay. With the magician card here and then the two of cups. Okay. But this time, like they're not going to play. So you better be very specific when it comes to this contract. All right. Or even if this is a relationship, you better be, um, really certain on what you you're wanting or what you're agreeing to okay if this is a living situation you could be moving in with like your ex okay or just a roommate or somebody i just feel like you have to be very particular okay with this person because someone likes to read between the lines or they like to go above the law all right they try to like be sneaky okay or see where they can um wow my flash is about to go out they like to be sneaky or try to like okay so you can say something like all right you need to pay me every fifth of the month okay so they'll be like oh i thought you said every sixth of the month or oh you didn't say what time on the fifth like okay they'll be doing little tricks like that or saying little things like that so you have to be very specific and particular with this person all right and because they ghost a lot and they hide and they run from the problem, right? I feel like you need to have like, make sure you get like an um, emergency number or like two numbers from them, okay? Or like you need to write that in an agreement. Like if you ghost me, if you hide from me, um, or if you don't respond within this many days or you don't text back or call or pay by this time you have to add all of that in this contract okay if this is just someone that you may be dating all right i feel like you have to just go over the things that you allow and the things that you don't allow just period like you know i want someone who you know calls me every morning or texts me um you know sends me a good morning text like you have to really yeah set the record straight just period all right, so for the Capricorns going forward, I feel like you're just more disciplined than somebody. Someone's not as disciplined. They have no discipline, really. All right. For the Capricorns, a message from the light from the Capricorns. All right, mindfulness. Interesting. I kind of want to get another card, all right? I feel like you've been very mindful to the situation, though, okay? Someone else is not mindful, okay? I feel like, mm, I kind of feel like they they get over on you, okay? Because you take care of your, your shit. You take care of business, all right? When they don't, all right? I feel like sometimes they even may leave it on you to figure it out, all right? I don't like that, all right? All right, power source. Interesting. Hmm. I feel like this is more so a call for you to go to your power source. Okay, far as like maybe going to higher up. Okay, maybe you have to go above the landlord to explain something. Maybe the corporation. Okay, or maybe, wow, even someone's parent. So this could be a sibling as well. All right. I'm also getting like, you're going to have to ask the divine for a lot of patience here because someone's really like testing you. Like, I don't know. Contemplation. Yeah. It's like, well, contemplation here, it's like, you know, I, I'm trying my best not to, you know, go to, you know, corporate or go to the landlord. All right. Or whoever. I'm trying not to go higher up. All right. But someone's testing you, all right? You're going to have to do what you have to do to maintain the situation, to protect yourself, okay? 
Also, power source in protecting yourself, okay? Interesting. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and um, close out this reading. Take the message as it resonates. Other than that, you know, leave it where it's at. But thanks again for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next video.